Hey guys, it's Jamie here and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this mini journal from two 12 by 12 papers or eight six by six. I cut up two 12 by 12. This journal is full of pockets and tuck spots where you can put little booklets, journaling cards, whatever you want. I've used washi tape and ephemera that I've made on other playlists like this little heart as part of this project. So you've got a tuck spot there, a belly band there. What else have we got? We've got two pockets opposite each other um, with more bits of ephemera in them, more tags and little journaling things. Here we've got just paper clipped in another tag and then on this side we've got another belly band with some more bits of ephemera, more booklets and tags. Here we have a flip out but on the back of the flip out is a pocket with more tags and this has just been clipped in, another tag. And then you have two more journaling spots that are a bit plainer and the back cover. So there's been quite a bit of use of washi, not necessary, you could use strips of paper and glue them down, and existing ephemera, but you may have different ephemera, and really where you put some of these pockets and belly bands is entirely up to you. Some are actually part of the design. Before we go on to the skeleton of the design, I just want to remind you of the competition which is to win this. We have now reached over 500 subscribers. To enter the competition, you will need to subscribe to the channel, comment on at least one video from a playlist, maybe this one, give it a thumbs up as well while you're there. And this is being prize drawn on the 20th of October, 2021. To be able to contact you, I will announce it on YouTube, but I think also it would be easier if you followed me on Instagram, because then I could tag you and message you to get your address details should you win the prize draw for this never-ending journal, which as you can see is again full of pockets and tags and bits and pieces. And it just goes round and round and round as they do. Okay. Let's get on with how to make this by stepping back into the past. Another mini journal. This time I'm going to be using two pieces of 12 by 12 that is double-sided. You can also use six by six because I am going to quarter this, cut it into quarters, which makes six by six. First thing I'm gonna do is cut this down and then we're gonna construct. Once you've got your squares cut, you're going to do one small score once you, when you've decided what you want your front cover to be. I'm going with the paisley, and so I'm going to score at one and a half centimeters, which is about half an inch. And then we're going to fold it t'other way, as they say in this area, t'other the other way. That is going to become part of our spine because it is a mini journal. The next page is going to have a pocket so it's going to glue on here but part of this page will be a pocket so you have to decide roughly where how you want that pocket to lie when it's open and I think about three quarters you decide where you want to score that. I'm going to score it. The fold was at uh, one and a half, so I'm going to score it at around hmm, four. I will tell you roughly what that is in inches. It is roughly an inch and a half. But it's up to you. It's up to you how big or not you want a pocket to be. What we're going to do now is glue this to this, gluing it that way. lining it up just shy of that fold so you can see the line and you basically butt up to the line but do not cover it. Once this isn't moving 
you can actually then turn that over and glue down this pocket. So we're going to just run along that edge, that edge, and it's got to slip in there. So if you want it to have a bit of extra, you could do it down there and then just flip that over and seal it down. With the next page, we're repeating the process. We're going to score one, uh, one and a half centimeters, I think that was, and then four centimeters. So we create a facing page and pocket. And then we are simply, I'm gonna bend it this way this time, and then this way, because I think that might put it under slightly less stress. And then the same with this one, bend it this way, and then this way. I'm gonna glue that bit to that bit there, and then create your pocket here. This is actually simpler than I'm making it sound. I will be wiping up excess glue and letting that take before gluing down the next pocket, this pocket here. Similar thing, down the edges, down the crease that you made, push that together to make the pocket. Sorry guys, while I was waiting for that to dry, I did add a piece of washi because I just felt it was getting kind of overpoweringly green and it gives it a bit more strength, but you don't have to do that. The next piece is going to go on here. I want a contrast, I'm getting a bit sick of the green. We're gonna go back to basically a whole page, but we are going to score and glue. We'll be scoring at the one and a half centimeters or the half an inch. And we are simply going to glue and line up on that outer edge. Just lining up on that edge and hold it until it takes last piece is actually going to make the back of the little mini album as well. I'm probably going to be boring and go with having the same back and front, which means I'll be scoring one and a half in this way and you'll end up with two pages of green again. Another score at the one and a half or the half, one and a half if it's centimetres, half if it's an inch. I'm sure you're bored of me saying that now glue along this edge and line it up to make the back cover. When you look at the, the base of the mini journal, what you have is you have a front cover, you open it up, you've got two pages, then you open it up, you've got double pockets, two pages, Ooh, that shouldn't have stuck together like that. Another two pages where I'm now definitely gonna have to put some washi to decorate up that mess. And then your back cover. Let's see if we can cover it up. As I was saying before, rudely interrupted by pages sticking together. <laughs> we have front cover, two pages, pockets, two pockets, two pages, two more pages, back cover. On the front cover, I'm just going to do a straightforward banded decoration, which basically just means with the spare, cutting off a strip and making that band. That I'm going to put down there. And if you wanted to, and you wanted to do a printed my journal or November or gift or whatever it is, person's name, you could do a little nameplate and mount it on top of that as well. Anyway, you decorate the front how you want to decorate the front. Turning over onto page one, you can do a corner pocket, a double pocket, a belly band, entirely up to you. You have the spare materials if you've used 12 by 12. I think I'm going to do a pocket this way and quite a large one. So I'm gonna cut this down and do a reasonably large pocket. I might do a notch in it 
and possibly even round off the corners just for a slightly different look. I'm going to measure that and find a halfway point and create a notch. You don't have to measure it, you can eyeball it. I'm more comfortable with a bit of measuring. Whoa, okay, that flew out. So now we have a little pocket for this page and I'm going to stick that down along the sides and along the bottom. Like I say, you can do what you want. You can do a belly band, a corner pocket, a tuck spot. I wanted to just break up all that green. So I wanted something quite substantial. Opposite this pocket, you can do something a little different. So you could do a belly band, a tuck spot, a top corner positioning. I think I'm going to I want something along the top, I think. Let me just do a flag as a, because you've got a pocket there, as a tuck spot. So I'm just gonna very gently, she says, try to very gently fold that in half and to create a flag we would be cutting that way. I always have to think about that. So from the corner, up to the center. There we go, corner, not the actual edge, but slightly. And then you've got a little tuck spot if you just glue the top bit. And then get a paper clip and hold it into place. With these pockets, and we've already used some washi, we could decorate those up a bit more with more washi, just different washi. We've got a blue, a turquoise, a red. Well, that's a no, isn't it? I think maybe that's too close to what we've already got. I think maybe the navy blue. Hopefully this is going to stick down. Washi is a bit notorious. You can, if you want to, run it across the top of a Pritz stick to give it extra stickability. Two pockets. Hopefully they're still open. Yep. Then this side, what do we want to do now? Got a whole great big page here. I think what you could do, because that's quite a plain green, is have that across there and then it could flip out as a journaling spot. I am going to glue that to this edge and then probably washi tape down here. Another piece of washi that's tearing before it should. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my knife to very gently cut along that edge. And hopefully that washi will basically pull away. And you end up with quite a neat little tuck there. So that's an extra little journaling spot on that side. What to do on this side? We've got a plethora of stripe. We could do a belly band in the green. Before we glue it down, I'm going to run some tape along. Oh, that's going to virtually cover it up though, isn't it? Oh, that's okay though. I don't like the green. I'm going to put it here. Hopefully that fits. Yep. And just a little bit of glue either end. Let's grab more of these to hold it in place while that dries off. 
this is very stripy isn't it I think we need to do something about that I'm wondering about putting a pocket on the back of the journaling spot there we go just a bit more decoration so that's a pocket I might do where do what did we do? We did blue stripe, didn't we? Could stay consistent and do a blue strip across there. I must admit the wash is coming in handy. I'm so tempted to do another line of washi just straight down the middle of that. You've got this here, which has nothing, but wouldn't lie flat if you added too much more. You've got a belly band, two pockets, I'm just double checking, more pockets, a tuck spot, another pocket, a flip out, then you've got two pages here, so I think you should have maybe flips that way. And we've got this left. Or we can go to a different piece of paper. This is more paper-like. I do prefer flip-outs, you know. I'm going to do flip-outs, even though I've done them before. And then I'm going to do two circles that these can tuck into. What we're going to do is glue the circles but not all of them here need to let that dry off then hey 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 right because we have this washi going spare we're gonna decorate the top of that pocket with it I'm not liking that now I think I may end up having to do a central plate on that of some sort wonder if and then something over the center as well that should now be dried in place I might just do something like that there just do a stripe down that one in the center of that right that's okay it's okay that's okay that's okay let's go to this bit Flip outs there, back page, and it's just tags and journaling cards. I'm going to make some of those with the spare paper, there's not much spare paper, and some scrap paper that I think might go with it, and fill it up. Well thanks guys, that's another little mini journal completed, probably another giveaway at some point in the future. Don't forget about the prize that's currently up for grabs with the prize draw on the 20th of October, which is that everlasting or never ending mini black and white journal. And do subscribe, comment, give it a thumbs up and I will see you next time.